Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can perform insertion operation into heap. We know that we can maintain a heap in one dimensional array and I have explained how we can do that in the last tutorial. Now let's go ahead and perform the insertion operation and see how we can maintain the heap using one dimensional array after the insertion. So here we go. I'll show you what is happening there in the almost complete binary tree side by side at the top of the screen and the things are practically going to happen at the bottom of the screen in that array so we have that empty array right now we don't have any element in the heap and we go on inserting this 50 and that is placed at index 1 and since we don't have any other element in the heap we just don't need to do anything else now the next item is going to be inserted at index 2 right because this is almost complete binary tree so we need to insert level by level left to right so index 2 is the next place where we insert 70 now immediately after inserting 70 we find that it is violating the heap rule max heap rule because 70 is larger than 50 so 70 must be there at the root right so after insertion we find that the heap is no longer a heap so what we need to do we need to do a restore heap up operation and that means we need to go on comparing with the parents uh, with the current value that we have just inserted. So i is the current index where we have inserted the new element that's 70 and p is the parent index that's the parent of the index i and that is actually i by 2. So i is 2 so i by 2 is actually 1. So you see that the parent is at index 1 and that contains 50. So we compare the content of parent with that of the i and that is actually 50 less than equals 70. So we move that 50 there at index P to at index I. And we make a provision of the 70, the newly inserted element at the index I. Then we go on comparing unless and until we are satisfied that no more parent is there, we need to go on in this way. So we move I to P and P is again moved to the parent of I. Now I goes at one where the P was and p goes at i by 2. i is right now 1, so 1 divided by 2 is 0. So p goes at index 0. So now we know that index 0 is invalid 1 because we are starting our heap from index 1. So that's the index of root, the index 1. So p is in invalid index. So we are just coming out of the loop and we are placing that 70, the, that's our item, at index 1 where the i is right now. And we are done restoring the heap. Now let's go ahead and insert one more element there. Now this time i is going to be 3 that's the next element where we are going to place the new item right because it's almost complete binary tree and for that we need to insert at index 3 because that's the next index the right to 70. Now this time we have this 40 there at index 3 and the parent of this index 3 is again index 1 because 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 and the floor of that is 1. Now we compare that content 70 of parent with this newly inserted element 40 and we find that 70 is larger than 40. So it is maintained. I mean the heap is maintained. So we just don't need to do anything. So we move ahead to the next element. Again if we have anything else we need to place that at index 4 and we have 90 this time. Now it's going to be compared with 50. That's the parent element and 50 is less than 90. That means 90 is larger than 50. So we need to move that 50 to index i to make a provision for that 90. Again, we, we need to compare with the parent of that index 2, that's 70, right? So i goes at index 2 and p is the parent of the current i. So 90 is still larger than 70, so 70 goes at index 2. And we move that i to p and p to i by 2. So again, p goes at index 0, that's invalid 1. So we are placing 90, our current item, at index i, that's at index 1. And the heap is adjusted. Now the next element for insertion is 5, that's the right child of 70, right? So we are inserting say 80 here, now you see that the parent of this 5 is 2, i is 5, so i divided by 2 is 2, so p is 2 right now, and we compare that 70 with 80, 80 is larger than 70, so we move 70 to index 5 to make a provision for the current element 80, and then we move i to p and p to i by 2, so i goes at index 2. Again we compare 90 with our current element that is 80 and 90 is greater than 80 so this time we just don't need to do anything else but to place that 80 our current element at index i equals 2 and we are done adjusting the heap. Now 
the next element is actually i equals 6 where we are going to insert the next one. So this time it's 95. And you can see that normally it's going to take the root because it's the largest element, right? 95 is greater than 40, so 40 should go at the place of 95. Then we need to compare 95 with 90. So 90 should go at the place of 40 and we need to place that 95 at the root. That's how it's happening there in the array. We are always comparing with the parent. So you see that now this time P is at 3 and we compare 95 with 40. 40 goes at 6 because 95 is larger than 40. And then I goes to 3 and P goes to 1. And again, 95 is greater than 90. So we are moving 90 to index 3. And again, we move that I to 1 and P 1 divided by 2, that's 0. So we don't have a parent there for index i right now. So we place 95 at index i and we are done. So the next index is i equals 7. So here is the algorithm for the insertion operation. So whatever I did in the last couple of slides with the animation, it's actually the uh, pseudocode for that operation. You can see that. I'll just, I'll just try on this algorithm with you. Okay, just take your pen and paper and draw this array. I mean this, this heap so far that we have built and let's go ahead and insert 100 this time along with this al algorithm to understand how this algorithm is working. Now this this algorithm uh, is receiving the base address to the array where the heap is maintained or the array where the heap is maintained and that is A. So this is actually the array A and the total number of elements in the array N is the total number of elements. So after inserting or placing this 100 at index 7 this insert heap operation is going to be called. Okay, so we are having 100 here. And then what it says, it says that insert element at a n into heap that is maintained in a 1 to n minus 1. That means the heap is right now maintained in this. I'm sorry, heap is right now maintained from index 1 up to index 6. That's from 1 to n minus 1. n is 7, so 7 minus 1 is 6. So in this region, the heap is maintained. Now we need to insert the element at index 7 into this heap so that the heap is maintained between 1 to n. That means we want this entire section from 1 to 7 to be heap. And that's this algorithm is going to do. So it's going to perform the comparison operation with the parents. That what I showed you in the last couple of slides with the animation. So let's go ahead and do the drill. Let me just delete all these things first. Okay, so what we are doing here, i is n, n is n was 7, n is 7, so i is 7 right now. And the item that we want to insert is a n. That's the element at the index n, that's 100. That we need to insert. So here we are calling the parent as p, so I'll keep that as p, okay. So P is the parent and P is right now I divided by 2. That's 7 divided by 2. So P is right now here. P is 3. Now we are having this while loop. So this while loop goes on comparing with the parents as long as there is a parent. So P is right now 3. 3 greater than 0. That's valid. That means we have a parent there. And AP, that's the content of the parent. That's 90 right now. Is that less than item? Is that less than 100? Yes, it is. So we come inside of this while loop. And what we are doing, we are moving that uh, AP to AI. We are assigning that AP to AI. That means AP is 90. That's actually assigned here. So we don't have this 100 anymore there. We have 90 here this time. And what we do next is we are actually assigning P. We are assigning I with P. That means I goes here at index 3 and p goes to i by 2. Now 3 by 2 is 1 so p goes here that's 1. So that's how the things are happening there in the while loop and let me just erase the previous things. Okay here we go. Now again what we do we come here in the while loop we iterate back in the while loop and we check whether the parent is right now in the valid index or not so p is 1 that's greater than 0 that's true and ap that's 95 right that's less than 100 that's also true so we come inside the while loop again and again we are moving that content of p to index i so this 95 is moved here and we are making a provision for that 100 so again we are assigning p to i so 
i goes at index 1, i comes here, and p goes at index 0 because 1 divided by 2 is 0. Again, we iterate back here. Do you have a valid parent? No, we don't because p is right now 0. And 0 is invalid index for this heap. So we come outside of that file. And what we are doing here, ai, that means this place, is assigned with the item that's 100. So that's how the things are happening there in the one dimensional array. And that's how we restore the heap up just after inserting the new element to the next place of the almost complete binary tree. I hope you have understood the heap insert operation clearly by now. Although we just don't need this heap insert operation for the implementation of heap sort. I have explained these things just to make you understand how we can do the heap insertion. Uh, we are going to build the heap from the unsorted array using another operation that we typically call heapify operation. That is going to use the adjust operation that we are going to understand later. So in the next tutorial, we are going to start with the heap delete operation and that's going to use that adjust operation that I just mentioned. And after that, we'll be building the heapify as well. So we still need to go many miles before we can understand heap sort. Thank you for watching this.